Oh my gosh. I can't believe that I got this working. That is POM, or Delrin filament, acetyl Delrin printing on my printer. I've been trying to get this working for over a week. Nothing but trouble with it getting to stick to the bed. And today I was at the hardware store and I was just passing by, you know, one of the aisles and happened to see this. It's joint tape for filling in the seam between uh, panels of drywall, right? You see he's got this little line, that's what it's for. But what's gr what is amazing about it is just, it's paper. Very porous, fibrous paper. And it was like $2.30 and something cents. <laughs> and I've got a lifetime supply. Oh, it's done, look at that. And I, I didn't even use a brim. I don't know what this dark color is, probably just leftovers from uh, the carbon fiber prints I was doing, but... Oh my gosh, this is... that's Delrin. That is Acetyl Delrin. And all that's on here is just a thin layer of uh, glue stick. This is the stuff that came with my printer, so it's really old. <laughs> but what I did was, I didn't just put the glue stick on and then put the tape down. I put the glue stick on, I wet the tape, I got it all wet in some water, just a little cup of water. And then I put it down, and I used my little print removal tool to smooth it out and get the water, get the air bubbles out. And that seems to be the trick. And I, did, I printed it with normal 110 bed. Now, I'm not going to remove that until it's absolutely done cooling. And then we'll see how it goes. If I have to put a new piece of tape down every time, I don't care. That's no big deal. Like I said, it was $2 and something cents for a big-ass spool of it, <laughs> big roll of it. Um, and I put these other ones down just in case I wanted to print like something bigger. But I can't believe that that finished printing. Hopefully it's not just an artifact of me having some uh, nylon carbon fiber left over and that it's, you know, it, it should be repeatable. But I'm going to try repeating it over and over and over again, and we'll see how it goes. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited.